how long has Percy been married? Hi, this is Cass from Mozzie Cass Plays and welcome back to my grey generation of my Not So Berry Challenge. It's actually the day before Winterfest. Luna's got a bit of time before they go to work and since we have a tree that requires decoration, I thought I'd get them started while the kids are at school. So Luna has work in four hours. I'm hoping we actually earn some money because I just bought a chess table for Lavender, who's currently needing to play three games of chess, but we don't really have enough money for chairs. So it's kind of where that's at. What we might do, you guys seemed happy with April as a potential future love match. April doesn't have any family. And I think Luna, in the same way that we actually invited Alan in for Winterfest, he didn't actually come, but that's how Luna met Alan. So I'm thinking we might do something similar, but actually have the story have a happy ending this time instead of a sad one. So even though I don't think Luna is really thinking about impressing a future partner at this point, I'm thinking about that, which is why I'm like, decorate this tree and do a good job, Luna. So all the decorations I've picked are the ones that have had white, so blue and white, or gold and white. Maybe you could add a present to this as well while the kids are out. They're going to come home from school and be like, yeah, Winterfest is coming. So what I might do is say chat with, because these guys I've gone jogging a couple of times together. April's mentioned the lack of family in the neighborhood. And I think Luna's like, hey, you know, if you're not doing anything tomorrow, the girls and I would love to have you over. Hopefully April will say yes. We will obviously actually invite them tomorrow. I don't know why. Lay's present pile under the tree. This looks like it's all stuff that's been opened. Oh no, when I read the set, the tree, all the decorations went away. Oh, that's sad. All right, I replaced it with this one. So we're going to say this is the one Luna decorated because I got to see them decorate the tree. It's just unfortunate that it did not uh, retain the decorations because we've moved house and stuff and that tree's been decorated before. Maybe it was glitching out a bit. I'm not sure. So the second Luna left, these guys got home and they both asked me if they could invite over classmates, which is cool. So this is the one Hyacinth invited over, this little boy with the amazing afro. This kid oh my gosh how cool is this child kerry tenebrous this is the one that lavender invited over hyacinth oh my god what are you doing throw away clean up that mess oh little freddy straight into the chores love that kid lavender actually cleaned up the dining room this morning without me telling her to and then luna actually cued coming to clean the sink so the house is actually looking pretty good at the moment I love that this kid looks like a total hipster, but he's still happy to cloud goose. And Hyacinth has just decided that she likes sport. I do have to have Hyacinth and Lavender both do their homework and stuff, but I thought since they both wanted to invite people over, this would be really cute. Oh, feeling a bit clingy. Interesting. wonder if something happened. Lavender's like, monsters are cool. Lavender's got a really big imagination. Uh, rally the team. Performance gain small. Sounds good. All right, now Hyacinth is actually almost finished Artistic Prodigy as well. So she just needs to do three more pictures. I put the ones that she did as part of the five in the inventory. So we've done animals and people. We've done shapes. So we need to do vehicles and whatever the last one is. So Lavender's fallen asleep in the bath, but I was just looking because I saw she had an embarrassed mood lid. The floor actually looks relatively clean at the moment. Oh, no, wait, we've got a dust bunny now. Uh, but it looked all right. It's not usually like this, from having visitors over while the house is dirty or filthy. Lavada has visitors and the place is a mess and we have a fire. Oh God. Where is it? Like, but for real though, where is it? Oh God, it's in the kids' room. Oh no, was someone using this? I mean, I thought the kids had left. Maybe it wasn't the du dust. Maybe it was... My kids weren't using... Oh, it must have been Freddy. Freddy was using the science table. Thanks, Freddy! That's what happens when we invite people over. Are you calling the fire department? Lavender, grip it up. Aww. Firefighters are on their way. Oh, the kids are at home on their own. Come on! Help us, mister! It's in our bedroom! Look, I knew there was a chance. Excuse me? Excuse me, where are you going? I knew there was a chance of those tables starting fires, but I thought, because I knew where both my kids were, it didn't even occur to me. Stop the fire, I know it's dusty. I get it. I'll have Luna vacuum when they get home. Maybe I need to just hire a maid. Because money is actually a problem right now. Oh, a dollhouse. Some of the pictures on the wall got destroyed. Oh, 
And Lena got promoted! Oh, we actually have money, that's good. Okay, let's just... Cool, thanks. Luna's been promoted to a Hall of Famer. They will now make an additional 91 per hour for a grand total of 333. They get a bonus and an MVP trophy. Oh my goodness, you also smell. Come home, see the fire truck out the front. Can you imagine? Give them each a hug to make sure they're okay. It's like, what happened? Why are there firemen here? And Hyacinth is like, we had some friends over after school and you said it was okay that we did, but one of them was playing on the science table and the science table got fire. So I feel like I couldn't see the dust when I loaded the file, but that must have been like glitch or something. I will replace that. I'm not going to replace the the science table. It's not in Luna's nature to vacuum, but I think even though the fire wasn't started by dust, maybe the fireman made a comment about the dust and, you know, that it, it went up in smoke even more because of the levels of dust in the house. And Luna's like, ugh, and feeling guilty, especially because they weren't here to help the kids when the fire started. Also, if Luna's got April coming over in the morning, it makes sense Luna would want to do this anyway. But that does mean Luna has maxed out the athlete career, which is great. So I think the only thing that they need to do now is they need to max out singing and we still need to have the family movie nights every Sunday. What I'll do once they max out the singing skill and the kids are teens, I'll switch to plum gen, like we'll start calling it plum. But we're obviously going to stay here until the kids are the young adults and we'll still do the family movie night until that point and the kids move out. I don't know, unless you think I should wait to start calling it plum gen until they're young adults. I'm going to start working on Hyacinth Aspiration and everything in the meantime. Okay, I'm going to get you throw that away because, again, the trauma for the children. I feel like it would take something catastrophic like a fire for Luna to actually be less of a slob. I actually bought the science table because I thought Hyacinth would need it for their mental aspiration. And then I decided to do the custom content aspiration that doesn't seem to use the science table. So that's fun. All right, Luna's still asleep. It's almost lunchtime. So I am going to get them up because I know they were up half the night cleaning, but still. So I've just got them coming down to cook a grand meal and then we will invite April. I should really be inviting Percy as well. I kind of just want April and Luna to have a chance to like talk. Obviously, Lavender's met April. Hyacinth hasn't. I've just got Lavender actually doing some Winterfest crafts because we don't have any decorations. I did buy the kids a present, but I figured the rest of the presents they'll get from under the tree and we'll see what they get. If they get something that's silly, then I'll sell it and buy something else. I've got Hyacinth actually doing their homework because we're working on WizKid right now. I'm hoping that they can do extra credit as well because that should count for two. And then we just need to do one more. So yeah, Luna's like, hey, why don't you come over? Maybe actually be dressed. Let's go for this outfit. It's a bit more dressy. No, stop it. This is what happened with Bartholomew. If you don't watch my medieval challenge, you're going to have no idea what I'm talking about. But the kids, once they start making a mess, it all bets are off. They just keep doing it forever. It's so irritating. I love how... April's come over, immediately complained about the smell, which is hilarious because this place is clean and then started doing that. Like, for real. Oh, it's because that bench just got dirty. Hey, I'm in the middle of cooking. That's a little harsh. But, you know, this is why we need a need sim to live with Luna. April's doing an inspection. I mean, the furniture's a bit shabby. I imagine this is like Luna's favourite couch. They picked it up when they first moved out of home at like a garage sale or something. And yeah, it's super beaten down, but it's actually really comfortable. Hi! I love how this is Hyacinth party wear, like jeans and a t-shirt and Lavender's a bit more dressy. Hi, it's like, hey, how are you going? Hi. Welcome to our house. Lavender's a good little hostess. She actually has been really conscientious about cleaning up. And she was the one that got the embarrassed moodlet, having people over in the house being so disgusting too. So it actually checks out to me. The kids actually aren't really hungry, but obviously grand meal time. I know they also don't want to do it. They're just busting to open presents. It's time for food. I love this being out. Oh, I didn't even realize that April's got purple flowers. I think this is actually the outfit, more or less exactly the one Sakura Leon gave her. But yeah, I love that she's got purple flowers on her dress. Repping the future stepchildren. <laughs> oh, they're eating, having a beautiful fish dinner. I did the fish meal because I thought that was 
the most healthy of the grand meal options. I don't know if it actually is in terms of what the game deems a calorie count to be, but you know. Oh, did you actually need a grand meal? No. Then why did you care? That's so weird. We'll open presents together. It's present opening time. Is it cold? It is cold. I mean, it's winter, but we don't seem to get snow in this neighborhood, which is interesting. All right, let's do it. Hyacinth's opening her present. She got something. She seems happy. Oh, a violin. Well, she does need to play an instrument for five hours, so Luna is not impressed. A carrot. That was probably one of the kids, and they thought it would be a funny joke. So, la what did Lavender get? I don't know what April got. I wasn't paying attention. A oh, tiny teacher. And wait, that's a toddler toy. That's mean. Oh, they're probably actually in her inventory. Oh, this is Luna's trophy for maxing out their career. I like the idea of Hyacinth getting a scout trophy and that going in there as well. Like, I don't think Luna would be super stressed about it. So what I've done is I also bought this for the kids. So I'm going to slide with Lavender. I know it's winter, but I thought it'd be cute. Now, this is a custom content version of the one that comes with the backyard stuff pack. It costs the exact same amount, but I bought this one because it was grey. April, I wanted us to talk. I wanted us to talk. Can you give a gift? Actually, I want to give a soccer ball, but this is Phoenix's soccer ball, so it won't be that one. All right, so we're going to give a gift of a soccer ball. I've just taken the red one out of the inventory just so that I don't accidentally choose the wrong one. Happy winter fest. Did, did she like it? I mean, she is an active sim, so I feel like she should. This about interests, show off muscles. These guys are, they're probably going to get cold. I just have to keep an eye on them as it gets colder in the day. Where are they? Oh, they're just talking. They're just chilling up here. That's actually really cute. Having a funny conversation. Give a pep talk. I did want them to play basketball because I did say I was going to have them work out together. April's like, sure. Oh, are you okay? This is a very, I know it seems crazy probably for those of you watching this who live in the Northern Hemisphere, but for me, Christmas is in summer because I'm in Australia, obviously anyone on this side of the world will know what I'm talking about. I remember doing this kind of stuff in Christmas afternoon. Christmas afternoon on a hot day was when we'd bust out, you know, water pistols and hoses. And we did have a slip and slide when I was a kid. We'd play under the sprinkler. Like that is what you do. April wants to become best friends with Luna. Oh, it's like, hey, you know, thank you so much for inviting me over for Winterfest. You guys have still not played basketball together, but now you're best friends. So that's cute. Oh my goodness. Does this mean that those negative sentiments are gone? Because they've got positive ones. Yes. Deeply connected. Not in the traditional way that I always giggle about because they seem to always get this sentiment when they woohoo. And growing closer. Oh, they actually get on. They've they've come very quickly and get, gotten past their awkwardness with one another. All right. Please, I want you to play basketball together. You are both active. You should both enjoy this. Yeah, they're not doing it. Come out here. All right. Will they do it now? Okay, it was a pathing issue. And April's got her little pride shirt on. I'm going to buy Lavender something and we'll say it was their present from under the tree. I was actually thinking about getting Lavender like a bee box or something. I guess I could because the violin's roughly equivalent to a bee box, huh? Because Lavender's like into the garden and stuff and I didn't want to get a decorative garden item that she couldn't do anything with. Bees. Birdie's bee box. We'll pop it here. I also actually don't know if she can interact with that, but it is winter, so they're dormant, which is good because it means I don't have to deal with that nonsense. Oh, that got struck by lightning too. You guys are still playing basketball. Do I have them flat? All right, so what I've tried to do is cue from April's side a flirt because Luna knows that they're in a friends with benefits relationship with Percy. I think April would just need to make that first move, you know? And then Luna's trying to make break up the tension a little bit with a belly laugh and like a bit of awkward conversation. April's feeling flirty. I wonder if she'll flirt again on her own. Luna, are you trying to show off? Dang, that hip wiggle. <laughs> Where's she going? She'd probably come up here to clean something. They're actually neurotic need sims in The Sims. Yep coming to clean my shower they will do this all day if they're left idle i'll have luna flirt back 
I don't know why they'd be doing this in the bathroom, but that's fine. I want to see what they do. <laughs> cool. Very romantic. Oh, they've got romance already. That was like two flirts. Okay, and April's going. That's probably for the best. I think April's flirted and Luna's realised that they are attracted to April. Let me know what you guys think. I think in the next part, I'm going to have Luna focus on letting Percy down gently. Even though they're not technically a couple is the only thing. So I think they can just ask to be friends. They can't actually break up, but that's good because... Wait, Percy's married. I'm actually just sitting here with my mouth open. How long has Percy been married? Is this why... Because I thought they were boyfriend and girlfriend. Is this why that went away? Because I said they were friends with benefits. Maybe they were woohoo... Because they haven't actually woohooed for a while. Percy hasn't even been over. You know, Percy's gotten married. They kind of just haven't had that conversation of like, we're done, right? But they also haven't done anything. And it's like letting it kind of die a natural death. So I will have them asked to just be friends. I really hope Percy hasn't been cheating with Luna. I don't think so. I'm sure Percy was single. And maybe this was like the equivalent of a Las Vegas wedding, you know, something that happened really quickly. So Percy's maybe been avoiding that conversation with Luna as well. I don't know. I am shook. I am going to end this part here, but let me know what you guys think. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh.